What is it like to be Robert Curran? What is it like to be you? Right now, it's, um, it's pretty stressful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a lot going on. There are a lot of balls in the air. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of things that I want to achieve here in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I feel very, very fortunate to have the opportunities that I've been given here um, yeah. and, and before. But here especially, I feel like this is a wonderful community. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a lot that the arts has to say mm -hmm. and there is a lot that the arts can achieve in this community. Uh, I feel like we need to be more than just an arts organization in the traditional sense. Um, so I'm constantly pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing, trying to, to maximize the impact that I can have, whether that's impact on the beautiful dancers that I work with mm -hmm. uh, or the guest choreographers or the refugee crisis or mm -hmm. the homeless crisis or you know the struggles of the LGBTQ plus community or Absolutely. any any struggling community how can how can the organization that I work for be generous and uh, aware and caring and um, hospitable mm -hmm. so I put a lot of pressure on myself and on the organization that I'm leading mm -hmm. to to think about those things and stretch beyond so I do sometimes feel like I'm almost at bursting. <laughs> well, I want you to share with the audience a little backstory about how and when the evolution of you getting the position you have now as the head of the Louisville Ballet. I think it's a great story. Yeah, I, um, I, wasn't, I wasn't really looking for anything in particular. I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't know about Louisville as a city at all. I had never heard of it. Um, I was traveling a lot. I was kind of building my um, building my kind of manifesto on what I feel like ballet should be mm -hmm. uh, in the traditional sense, in the present day sense, and in a wider social impact sense. And I found out about this, this job, the artistic director job, and I started my research process. You know, I started diving into, you know, what's going on, what's been going on. And every web page I opened, every thing I read uh, just talked about this gold mine of opportunity here mm -hmm. um, for collaboration, for collaboration within the arts, collaboration beyond the arts, uh, with a long history of, of respect for the arts. And so I, I threw everything I had at the, at the application and truly I, got, I thought that I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I went to my second interview, I, I, I believe I made it to a short list of three and I, I came to Louisville for the second time to do my second in-person interview and I was asked to present a PowerPoint. And when I arrived to the interview, I found out that the PowerPoint was not working. The, um, mm. the projector was not working, so I had to very quickly convert my PowerPoint into a handout and it just felt horrible. The whole thing felt horrible and I thought that I'd wow. bombed. I went home, I told my parents that they had to let it go. You guys have to let it go. It's not gonna happen, you know, and then you know, I ended up getting the call on the 6th of July and got the job. Mm -hmm.